Do you want to make a website by your own? If yes, drop down comment below. I will help you out. This video is all about website related fundamental blocks which is languages. In this series of web development, we are going to start with HTML. So HTML introduction. What is HTML? So from scratch to HTML5, we are going to discuss in this video. So HTML stand for Hypertext Markov Language. It is a type of language. So HTML element tell the browser how to display the content. Whatever we wrote in the block of in the editor, it will be shown up to the web browser. So browser do not display the HTML tag, which means that whatever whatever code we run in the browser, it will be not displayed over the web browser. For example, if you write the code in the editor, it will be not displayed over the browser. Only the meaning of that code will be displayed. So why should we learn HTML? Because HTML is a very basic language. So we should, yes, so answer is yes, because used for making website, also used in programming languages like Java, you can use there as applet, applet programming. So here is a bonus tip. In the last summary of this video, you're gonna know about the bonus tip. Moving on to the next. HTML described the structure of web page. So whatever the structure of a web page is consist of, it will be determined by the HTML. So over here we have a simple HTML document, a simple code of HTML. So standing also, so this block of code basically define the new version of HTML5, which we're gonna dis discuss in this summary. And uh, this is this is itself a code from here to here and hit in head we basically type our script if you learn javascript more and uh, this is for the page title whatever we wrote in this title it would be displayed over here which is known as the title and in body we basically do our all the codings for example the heading tag h1 is stand for the heading tag and P is for the paragraph. We can include images in heading. For example, if we took this as images, so this is this image will show on in our body. Tag in HTML. So what a tag? Tag are basically the things that define meaningful object to the HTML. For example, if this this tag is known as starting tag, and this is known as ending tag. In the previous slide, we discussed about the document so in this document the HTML is this one is known as starting tag and this one is known as ending tag the last one so this one is known as starting tag and this one is known as ending tag wherever we have a forward slash so this stand for ending tag moving on to the attributes what are attributes attributes are basically the values for example if we look over this block of code what we are gonna find is that this is known as IMG IMG is for displaying the images of our website and SRC stand for the source and over here we give the URL or we give the directory and dot JP is known for the image file so href attribute basically we giving the attribute value of image over here we can just understand simply by knowing the attributes for here the value is 500 and 600 so the image displayed over the website should be like this one it is just a demo having 500 width and uh, height so what are html links HTML links are basically the website embedded in your code block of code when for example uh, this just took over this link ahref so this will display a text but inside the text we have this URL and when we for example we just 
uh, take it as a demo for example if we just code this one and save it in your browser or save it, save it in your editor .html file and after that we just our browser will show up this this is a link and when we click on this this will direct you this will direct you to the internet if the connection was successful it will redirect you to the website it will it will show you the website where this link is located so html comments what are html comments basically html comments are used for it is it is it is not displayed over the browser or it is it is a very unique feature that every language most of the language support but in html we basically use the single line comment and the double line comment in single line comment we basically put the forward slashes two times and uh, this block of comment will basically describe what we are doing and uh, this is for the multi line comment so whatever what is the concept of comment so comment is basically used when we have more than uh, what can we can say that when we have more line of code and we are just don't know how to code and where to code and we forget uh, after after some time when we move back to our code when we again open the code we will find that if you put the comment over there for example this is a body tag this is a head tag we really easily understand about the code that this is this resembles to the body tag and the head tag so in this way comment work so as we have discussed earlier in the next slide we gonna discuss about the new thing of html what is this new thing so the new thing is html5 html5 basically host this new feature for example it provide a meaningful thing to the browser we can understand by header it understand for the head nav for basically the navigation panel main where we do all the code work article in the next slide for example you can easily understand so this one is known as for the header whatever in the header section it will be displayed the title tag displayed over here your title and uh, the menu which is known as the nav your article over here your image in the body and list sidebar and section footer footer where you put the company name when you are trying to develop your website or for anyone so in this way html work in the coming video we're going to discuss about how we can code and uh, we can also discuss about the css and javascript thank you